Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now you may have noticed that some smartphones have the option to enable sunlight readability or sunlight viewability. Now when this mode is enabled, the idea is that photos and text are clearer when you're outdoors in bright sunlight. So the question before us today is this, what is sunlight viewability and how does it work? Well, let me explain. Now there are a couple of different sunlight viewability technologies out there and the one I'm going to concentrate on today is called Assertive Display, which is from ARM. That's ARM who make the Cortex processors and the Mali GPUs. Now ARM have this technology which enables video and photos and games and text to appear better when you're watching your phone outdoors. Now traditionally, when your phone is uh, being moved around from indoors, from outdoors, to room with more light, to room with less light, the phone automatically changes the brightness of the display. And you can actually override that, of course, in the settings, but when you've put it on automatic, there's a photo sensor on the front of your phone that detects how much ambient light there is, and then it powers the display accordingly. Now, when you're in a darkened room, you don't want a bright display because it's bad on the eyes and things appear too white and too sharp. But when you go outdoors and there's lots of ambient light, you need the phone to work harder so that its light is able to kind of uh, be better, stronger than the light that's around it. Now the problem with sunlight readability is that there is a limit to how much brightness a display can make. Now depending on the quality of display, depending on the type of display, the levels of the brightness will change. But at the end, once the photo sensor detects there's bright sunlight, it will push that display up to its very maximum and there it stops, there's nothing more it can do. But when you're using sunlight uh, readability technology like assertive display, then there's another trick that the phone has up its proverbial sleeves. So the solution to this problem of sunlight readability is actually to use a technology called tone mapping. And what happens in tone mapping is that the picture itself is processed so that things that are darker appear to be lighter, while things that are already light remain exactly the same. Very similar roughly to what we see with HDR displays and HDR photography. Now what assertive display does is in combination with the photo sensor, when it senses strong amounts of light, it actually processes the image that's on the display so that actually the darker things have more detail and the lighter things don't get washed out by always having to pump up the brightness. And there's also an interesting side effect because the image is being processed, and this happens in real time, which means it's not just about a photo, it can be films and games and anything that's happening on the screen. Because it's being uh, processed, now actually it turns out you can actually lower the brightness a bit. So actually you go out into bright sunlight, the, dis the image is processed for greater readability in sunlight, and as a result the brightness can be pushed down. Now of course that means battery saving. In fact, ARM reckon that you can actually get up to 50% battery saving in some circumstances by lowering the brightness but by applying assertive display. Now the best way to see what I'm talking about is with a demo. Okay, so for this first experiment here, I've got the P10 Lite, which has got assertive display built into that, and I've enabled it in the settings. And here we have a picture that's a mixture of dark and light areas. There's some clouds, and there's a road and a pathway and some bushes. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of contrast between these two areas. Now I'm about 50% of the display brightness now. And now what I'm going to do is going to imagine I was going outside, so the display automatically bumps up the brightness. So we'll just bump up the brightness manually now. And we can see that a bit more of the picture is clearer. Some of the road there uh, is clearer than it was before. But now that the phone bumped up its, vo its uh, brightness up to the highest level, what else can it do to make this display more readable? So what I've got here is a basically a little torch, and I'm gonna shine this torch now on the photo sensor on the display to mimic us going out into much brighter light. And as you can see here now, look at this, how this pathway has become visible, the grass area is much more visible, you can start to see some details here in the bushes, but the sky area here hasn't lost, hasn't become all whited out, bleached out because it's, it's increased the brightness, it's actually only mapped, tone mapped the areas that needed improving so that we can see this picture more clearly. Okay, so as a comparison here, I've now got the uh, Google Pixel phone here, and I've got the Huawei P10 Lite here. Now this is the same photo, and you can see that actually the display on both um, 
devices is pretty good. There's a deeper range of colors, it appears to me here on the Pixel, but basically there's the same problem here. I can't see the pathway very well, and a lot of the detail here amongst the trees and the road is lost. So I take my torch here, and if I shine it brighter on the Pixel, absolutely nothing happens. Once it's at full brightness, because it doesn't have a sunlight display or assertive display, it can't do anything. But again, we go back to the Huawei P10, which has got assertive display in it, and you can see how the tone mapping is applied there so that the colors come up here. Definition comes up here in this darker picture. Again, the same two phones. I've got the Pixel and the Huawei P10 Lite. Let's set both of them now to 50%, around about 50% brightness just what I can kind of judge with my eye there. And let's set this one to 50% brightness as well, approximately. Okay, so there we have both devices. And as you can see, again, the sky is bright. You've got the nice colors of blue here and the cloud formations. But all the stuff down here is kind of the detail is lost because it's, it's too dark. So let's bump up the brightness to 100% as if we'd kind of stepped outside a bit. We wanted to see a bit more. Okay, and as you can see, a bit better now, some definition has come out here. But again, we'll use our trusty torch to mimic bright sunlight. And if we go out into even brighter sunlight, once the display has reached 100% brightness, the backlight or the AMOLED display, there's nothing more it can do. But on the P10 light, it can apply assertive display. And we can see now here, look at all that detail coming out here in this bottom part of the picture. And that's all down to local tone mapping. It hasn't increased the brightness of that display. Now, as you just saw, the effects of a certain display can be quite dramatic. So you get a better sunlight readability and you get lower battery consumption. Now, in my books, that should make a certain display actually mandatory in every single Android smartphone. However, unfortunately, it's not. In fact, it's also quite strange because uh, many OEMs don't talk about this function. Even when it's enabled in their phone, they don't talk about it. Now, I actually found it quite hard to kind of go through all the different SOCs and all the different smartphones to find ones that actually speak about assertive display or sunlight reading display. Now, we do know a few things. Uh, a couple of years ago, Qualcomm announced that the Snapdragon 800 supports assertive display, and we are assuming that all the 800 range continue to support assertive display. And also, as you saw from the video, uh, Huawei have included assertive display in lots of their Kirin processors. So really, uh, my shout out to the OEMs, is please tell us when you have assertive display in your uh, phone so that we can actually see the benefits that it brings to the display. And as for us consumers, it comes down to this. If you've got a choice between two phones that are similarly matched in terms of their processing power and their memory and their storage and, and other things and the camera quality, and you can't quite decide which one to buy, always get the one that's got assertive display in it because that will improve the outdoor viewability. Well, I'm Gary Sim from Android Authority. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification icon so that you always get told when we release new videos. Please follow me on Twitter. And last but not least, do go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.